Aggression is an act intended to physically or psychologically harm an opponent outside the rules of a game. It can also lead to a breakdown in team cohesion. For example, when female footballer Elizabeth Lambert pulled her opponent to the ground by her hair. Assertion is a forceful but acceptable behaviour with no intent to harm or injure. It's goal-directed and doesn't violate the rules of the game. For example, a slide tackle on an attacking player in football. Channeled aggression is feelings of aggression which are diverted into a positive and productive manner. Causes of aggression can include an official's decision being against them. For example, Wayne Rooney's red card in the 2006 World Cup which caused him to show increased aggression towards Cristiano Ronaldo. Another example is losing, as poor performance can cause frustration. Also, big events such as finals can cause aggression as they lead to over-arousal. Pressure to win and copying behaviour of others are also causes. There are four theories of aggression. Instinct, social learning, aggressive cue and frustration aggression. Instinct theory. This suggests that aggression is genetically inherited and therefore innate. Freud proposed this theory. He suggested that there is a trait of violence in everyone which is called death instinct, where the purpose is to seek aggressive destruction. Lorenz then developed this theory by saying aggressive energy builds up and needs to be released. The drawback of this theory is that it suggests behaviour is predictable, which in most cases it isn't. Social learning. This suggests behaviour is learnt and nurtured through environmental forces. Bandura stated that it's learnt over time by observing and copying significant others or role models and will become accepted when reinforced. Frustration aggression. This theory was presented by Dollard who stated that frustration develops when goal-directed behaviour is presented. This could be missing a penalty or a shot on goal. If the frustration continues to build up, Drive becomes aggressive and the end result will be aggressive. If the aggressive act is successful, frustration is released. If not, it continues to build up. Aggressive cue. This was developed by Berkowitz, who stated that frustration creates a readiness for aggression, which is triggered by social and environmental stimuli or cues. These cues could be perceived as unfairness or just the nature of the game. Social learning and frustration aggression are the two theories most favoured by psychologists. There are two ways of eliminating aggression, cognitive and somatic strategies. Cognitive techniques involve psychological strategies designed to lower arousal. Strategies include positive self-talk, which can lower inclination to be aggressive. Imagery, forming an image of a quiet place to create a calm state. Counting from 1 to 10 to regain composure and disengaging yourself from the aggressive cue. Somatic techniques involve physiological strategies. These include progressive relaxation techniques, breathing exercises and biofeedback or any information on the physiological state. These help to control arousal which can trigger aggression. Dysfunctional behaviour can also be punished and good behaviour reinforced and also an emphasis on positive role models. Aggression can also be linked to a balanced, active and healthy lifestyle. Aggression increases arousal, causing reduced concentration, which can result in a poor performance. This can lead to learned helplessness and wanting to give up. Aggressive players also have a greater chance of getting dismissed or injured. They also feel less satisfaction and therefore reduce motivation and are less likely to continue in their sporting activity.